Uh, I've been training parkour for about seven years now and my goals and my motivations for training are constantly evolving. For me, it's really important to have really clear goals, no matter how big and small they are. Um, I think particularly when you've been training for a long time, um, when you get past those first couple of years of progressing, you really need good reasons to train. Um, some of those are long term and some of them are really short term. At the moment, I've been working a lot on really technical jumps, trying to be precise and trying to add that precision into movement with roots as well. I'll be going about that by practicing as much as I can with lots of repetition, um, low level jumps, just getting them right every single time. Um, and then as soon as I can and wherever I can, trying to put the, the fear factor in there as well. I'm going to do the drop. I'm just saying I want to know what happens if you know we jump back and grab up being three minutes and grab up. I think the stage that I'm at at the moment, um, fear is a really constant battle. Um, some days I come out and I know that I'm ready and everything feels good and some days you need to just go, today's not the day and I think when you get to the stage where you realise that that's okay and that you can always train tomorrow that you're, you actually start to progress quicker um, and knowing when to say no and knowing being okay with saying no is really, really important. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> voila! <laughs> <laughs> I think um, at the heart of at the heart of my training, it always needs to be fun. And I think if you if you keep that in mind, even when you're doing something really horrible or on a day when you don't want to train, you'll get through it and enjoy it anyway. Um, and if you keep the joy of movement right at the at the centre of your training all the time, then you'll be able to do it forever. <laughs>